If you're experiencing knee pain in your squat, this is gonna be a great video for you. I'm gonna show you three things. One is going to be testing your range of motion in your knees. Second is going to be your squat solutions. And then third is going to be your squat substitutions. So let's get started. What I want you to first do is actually put your foot up onto either a bench or some sort of flat surface. You can either do this on the ground as well. What we're gonna do first is going to be the extensions. So you're just going to push your leg out flat you're going to just gently press down into this. And if you're feeling any sort of pain, then you're knowing that you're going to have a limitation right here in your range of motion. The next one we're gonna test is going to be your flexion. So you're going to be pushing your heel up towards your glutes as you're just going to be gently squeezing in. Again, remember this isn't some quick thing. You just want to just squeeze it in in the flexion and see if you have any discomfort in here. Now, if you don't, then your range of motion is okay. If you did have any pain in either of those, then what we wanna do is start finding solutions for it. So if it's your flexion here, what you wanna do is call what's heel slides. And so you wanna do about 10 to 15 reps where you're gonna be squeezing in for about a five second hold. So let me show you what that means. So you're just gonna squeeze into where it feels the tight, hold it, put some resistance in it for about five seconds. And then after that, go ahead and release then you're gonna go ahead and do that again, repeating about 10 to 15 times. That's gonna help with your flexion part. Um, so now if you're still experiencing pain in those, in your range of motion, make sure to go check with your physical therapist to continue to restore your strength in your knees so that you can go to it. And then I would skip past the squat solutions and I would go to the squat substitutions so that you avoid doing squat for the first little bit so you can start gaining some more strength in your knees so that you're safe and that your knees are safe. Um, so now let's go ahead and dive into the squat solutions. A wider stance makes the squat more of a hip dominant movement, thus will help take the stress off the knees. This is called an abduction position. So by utilizing this position, many with knee pain during squats will start to feel it more in their abductors, which is more up in their glutes, versus the anterior knee. Additionally, turning the toes out will help set the knee up for optimal alignment, which will help, help limit the amount of tibial, internal, and external rotation occurring at the knee. A great way to help reduce symptoms and improve knee tolerance is to implement tempo squats. This is where you'll be slowing down the movement so it can help create permanent positive structure changes that you're looking for. So to perform a tempo squat, you're gonna to wanna to reduce your weight. Ultimately, what I recommend is using a 303 tempo here. This means you're going to slowly squat down for three seconds, stop at the bottom, and then stand up for three seconds. So if the previous squat solutions are not working for you, then I'm gonna show you some squat substitutions that you can do instead that's going to help work your posterior chain, which is going to help lift your booty, reduce the cellulite, and start to really strengthen those knees so that over time you'll eventually be able to go back to your squat solutions. Um, so not only will these exercises that I show you next are gonna be great for your legs, your glutes, and also a co your core. Um, and if it does start to aggravate your knees during any time of these exercises, stop the exercise and eventually we can go back, but let's go ahead and just move on to the next substitution. Because again, over time, we just want to start working on those muscles, gaining that strength, and then we can go back to that one, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite ones. The first one is gonna be the hip abduction. So you're gonna place a booty band on for this and then bring it up to about either mid thigh or wherever that feels a little comfortable for you. You can do this uh, sitting is probably my top favorite. I lift my heels up into this exercise here and then what I do is lean slightly forward at like a 45 degree angle and then I'm just really pushing against that band. Now, if it feels uncomfortable, you can lean back and you can also adjust that booty band to wherever you feel it. But again, what this is gonna be doing is working from your glutes all the way down to your side IT band and then wrapping around the outside of your knees. So it's gonna be strengthening the outer part of your knees. And then after you do that, I have an actual five minute video. I can show you different reps and sets on that, but let me just show you the next part of it would be taking a little ball like this, putting it into the inside of your knees, and now you're gonna be doing the reverse. Now you're gonna be working your inner thighs, coming around into the inside and around your knees. So now you're targeting both areas of your knees to start really getting that strengthening that will help with your posterior chain. The next one we're gonna go into is the hip hinge. 
So this is another exercise that I really like if it, that is a substitution for squats if you're not able to do squats at this time. So you're gonna find your long band and wrap it around something that is more stable. That could be like a, something that is heavy set, so it could really push against your weight. So as it's nice and snug, you can make it harder by walking away, make it easier by walking to the actual anchored point. From here, a hip hinge is you're just gonna push the hips back and then push the hips against it. So again, this is a great substitute that's not going to aggravate the knees or should not aggravate the knees. And if it does, make sure you just stop any of the exercises and move on to the next substitution. So again, one of my top favorites is the standing hip hinge. The next one I really like is deadlifts. So this is also a great one if people are asking me, hey, I can't do a squat, what else can I do instead? So I'm gonna show you a, a deadlift and then I'm gonna show you a couple different varieties of deadlifts that you can do instead of the squat. So with a deadlift, you wanna make sure your feet are right underneath that barbell, and then when you go into the squat, you wanna make sure that that bar is pressed up against to your shins here. At that point, you're gonna go ahead and just lift with digging your heels into the, the, the mat, and then bending the knees and bringing it back down. I like to stop right here and then push it back up, so that way you're not rounding the back and you're staying in that tight posterior chain. Another top favorite with deadlifts that I like to do that also is very safe for the knees is called RDL. This one we're gonna keep a soft bend in the knee, but as I have the weight, I'm gonna be mostly pushing my hips back this time rather than bending my knees. So that's the difference. Here's a deadlift and here is a Romanian deadlift. Also amazing for the glutes and should be very safe for those knees as well. Let me show you how that looks with weight. Awesome. The next one I like is a single leg deadlift. Here's how you can do that. One acts as a kickstand, having the opposite hand coming down across the body, stopping about mid shin and coming back up. Remember, the emphasis is like a string is pulling your booty back. That right there is also really safe for the knees, making sure that you're balanced, tightening your core with every exercise, because remember, this is also strengthening your knees, your core, your glutes, your hamstrings, and all these other muscles in your legs. Whew. All righty, next one we're gonna go into is bridges. Another top favorite that you can do instead of just doing squats. Bridges is where you're gonna be down onto the mat, rolling up that barbell up onto your legs, showing you again all these different varieties that you can do besides just squats. From here, you want to round your back so that your back is flush onto the mat, press your feet into the ground, and push up with that barbell. Phenomenal exercise for your posterior chain, very safe for your knees. You can also place a booty band around your legs to start working the medius and the minimus. One of my top favorites to really strengthen the knees as well by putting that band around. So that's a bridge. You can also go into what's called an elevated bridge where you can see these step benches over there. Oftentimes I'll put my feet up onto those and do that same situation there. So now my other top favorite, posterior chain, a, a squat substitute, is going to be where a hip thrust. So let me show you what this looks like. You're gonna take the barbell, bring it up onto your legs, starting off with light weight at first and eventually building up. In one motion, connect your back to the bench, have a 90 degree angle in your feet and about six inches dropping your hips and squeezing up. Another great one that's safe for your knees. It's a squat substitution, working your posterior chain and gonna get you amazing booty results. Great work. And let me show you the next one we got. Now obviously we're not gonna be doing all these exercises in one day. I'm just showing you all the varieties that you can do and add to your list. The next one that's really great for a squat substitution is going to be those kickbacks. And I don't prefer um, kneeling if you've got bad knees. So what I'm gonna show you is actually a standing kickback. So one of the most important things is that your hips are always squared off. And what that means is, is instead of rotating your hips like this with your kickback, keep them here and you're gonna get way more results, okay? 
So your, your leg that is stationary is gonna have a slight bend in the knee, and the one that's kicking out, again, don't overextend, you don't need to go clear up like this, because then you're gonna go into the back. So tighten your core. You'll notice it's just a few inches up. I'm just tapping my toe and kicking back up. Again, another great squat substitution. Another one that I like, if you've been with the Booty Bands and Barbells community for quite some time, is called the Mermaid. Let me show you what these are. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your legs about 90 degree angle. The bottom leg stays on the ground while the top leg is going to a, a lower and lift. This is gonna be working your glutes, your medius and your minimus, which is gonna give you that nice lift and round shape to your booty. And so what I like to do is switch it up, is I like to take the feet up off the ground and then do the same thing. And it actually will enhance your results because you're gonna feel the burn just a little bit more. And then if your knees are okay, what I like to do is add a little kick. So again, that's my feet are both lifted, my bottom leg is staying on the ground, and I'm just kicking that top leg. So those are a fabulous one. The next one I'm gonna show you, again, these are all just options. Remember, if you're like, oh, I've got knee problems, I don't know what to do, there are always, always, always solutions. So the next one here, it's gonna be the hamstring rollout. So you're gonna take a yoga ball as such, bring your hips all the way towards the yoga ball, and from here you're gonna put your feet up onto the top of the ball. From here, what I like to do for extra balance is put my hands down onto the ground, and I like to gently lift and just feel my level of balance. Now, if this is just too hard and your balance is all over the place, this one might not be good for you because this does require some strengthening. So over time, just start here to start working on those inner balance muscles. If this is easy, then what you can do is lift all the way up, roll the legs out, back in and down. Let me show you again. So you're gonna dig the heels into the ball, lift your hips high, roll it out, and this is really gonna work your posterior chain, the hamstrings and the glutes. Again, another great substitution for squats if you have bad knees. The next one is going to be reverse lunges. And let me show you the difference. People, when they do a front lunge, ends up putting a lot of that torque onto the knee. So my recommendation instead is actually having more control by going into that reverse lunge. So notice I slightly bend my knees, I tighten my core and I hinge at my hips. And from here is when I go into that reverse lunge. If you need to hold on to a chair or a wall for balance, that's great. And once you're done using body weight and it becomes easier, then you can start lifting weights or incorporate a booty band or things like this into this workout. So this will be another great exercise that will um, be a lot safer for your knees. The other one is a step up. So starting off as a beginner, maybe only one or two steps. And then as you get more advanced, you can get a little higher of that step. But these are also really great for your posterior chain. Little step ups like this, where you're digging that heel into the step bench. Really great for your posterior chain and also can be really stabilizing and helpful for those knees. The last one I wanna show you, which has been my top favorite recently, is a single leg squat. Now, essentially what this looks like is you're just gonna lift your heel on one foot while the other leg is going to be the more dominant of doing this, this workout. Um, as you're a beginner, don't go too low. You're just gonna slightly bend this knee and then push up through your heel. But what you're gonna start to do is really start to strengthen this one side. As you are patient with your body and patient with your knees, you're gonna start working from the inside out, really finding a lot more recovery than you ever have. And then you're gonna switch to the other side, obviously. So all these exercises, switch to the other leg. We're gonna do the same thing. And again, if you find any sharp shooting pain or it's uncomfortable, it's aggravating, go to the next substitution that I offered on today's video. Let me know if this helped. I love your guys' questions. I love your concerns and it makes me shoot more videos so that I can further support you into your progress to help you reach your goals. Lots of love, have an amazing rest of your day.